Good evening. Uh, my name is Oliver Jenkins. Um, I, I would say wide receiver, but uh, <laughs> that ended in like 2004. Uh, I'm the long snapper. Uh, I'm from Rocky Mountain, North Carolina, and currently reside in Richmond, Virginia. Uh, my name is Carlos Hardy. I played uh, offensive line, number 66. Um, I'm from Kingston, North Carolina. I'm still here in Durham, having left. Great city. But um, congratulations, guys. My name is Paul D. Johnson, Jr. Um, I'm originally from Philadelphia, Pennsylvania. I wore number 61, and I currently uh, reside in Creekmore, North Carolina. Gregory Pruitt, Jr., number 34, running back. Cleveland, Ohio, and I'm still in Cleveland, Ohio. My name is Brandon Austin, number five. I'm from Durham, and I still stay in Durham. <laughs> I'm Mac Ellis. I play offensive line from South Bay, North Carolina, and I'm in Durham right now. Thank you. I was going to be Greg Pruitt Jr., but he beat me to it. <laughs> <laughs> now, I'm Kate Gay Wynn. I play the tackle, uh, number 72 on the Kingston, North Carolina. My name is Antonio Pola. I was number 43, running back, offensive, well, special team specialist. <laughs> Choose freshman guru. <laughs> <laughs> I'm Jack Calder, from Gatesburg, Maryland, currently residing in Washington, D.C. Running back number 22. My name is Jared Brown from Winston Salem, North Carolina. Uh, play defensive line, DN, number 94. Currently reside in Raleigh, North Carolina. Saeed Abdul Aziz, fullback from the 47, Durham, North Carolina. Still residing in the Bull City. Thank you. Kenneth Broadway. Tight end, number 31, I'm from Chopper Hill, and I live in Durham, North Carolina now. I'm Darren Brothers. I'm from Elizabeth City, North Carolina. I currently live in Raleigh, North Carolina as well. I'm Rashid Muhammad, number 21, defensive back. We're from Cleveland, Ohio as well, and I currently live here in Durham. Andre George, uh, defensive back, number 22, Durham, North Carolina. Still here in Durham. I'm Shelton Henderson, originally uh, from Charlotte, North Carolina. My number is 25, and I play defensive back. My name is Xavier Joe. I was number 13, he's a man. Uh, from Arlington, Texas, brought here by some of you might know the late great Danny Worthy. So that's how I ended up here. Uh, I currently moved back to uh, Texas where I, I coach football now. Alright, thank you. Go I am Derek Harvey. Um, I played defensive, defensive back I worked in 49 for two years and then I switched to 20 in the last two years. Um, I'm from Rayford, North Carolina, and I reside in Cary, North Carolina. Uh, I'm number 45. Reserve tight end, <coughs> special team specialist, 2016. Uh, I reside from Chapel Hill, North Carolina, and I currently live in McLeansville, North Carolina. Christopher Edwards, I was number 88, tight end from Jackson, North Carolina. I currently live in Nashville, North Carolina. Go Eagles. I'm Lewis Hall, um, originally from Columbia, South Carolina. I uh, played defensive back, I won number 15. And I currently reside in Raleigh. My name is Alan Lee. I um, play wide receiver number three. I'm current. I mean, I'm really from Miami, Florida. Now I'm stuck in Durham. I've been in Durham ever <laughs> since. <laughs> Thank you. I'm Gabe Manns, uh, offensive line number 75. I'm from Winston-Salem, North Carolina. I currently live 
in Centerville, Virginia. My name is Chris Keenan. I'm from Durham, North Carolina. I still stay here in Durham, North Carolina. I'm 173. I play offensive line. Keep on. My name is Dante Fields. Um, I was number 14. I'm from West Palm Beach, Florida. I'm here by the way. Of, I went to Carolina my first couple years. And I want to say thanks to Coach Broadway, especially because he gave me a second chance. <laughs> My name is Derek Arnold, and I'm number, no, I'm just joking. I just under some of these guys. I was actually uh, inside linebackers coach of this uh, 2006 uh, championship team, and can we kind of give it a round, another round of applause for these guys? Yeah. I'm originally from Landover, Maryland, and I currently reside in Raleigh, North Carolina. I figured I'd let BG go last as he uh, is a customer doing cleaning the rest of this stuff up. <laughs> I'm uh, Brandon Gilbert. Woo! <laughs> Number 16, uh, place kicker. I'm from 0408. Uh, from Grand North Carolina. I live in Hall River, which is five minutes up the road from Grand North Carolina. <laughs> uh, Just a, just a great team. Couldn't have done anything I did with, without you guys. So, thank you. I realized that this was going to be a special season. Um, I really think it was the 2005 team. You know, when we came back that, and won the first championship, we knew we were bringing the whole team back, basically. And because we didn't make it uh, through the playoffs, coming back, I think everybody was still hungry and wanted more. We, we loved the taste of the first ring and, you know, saying quarterbacks and kicker, receivers. And, you know, once you get the taste one time, you're still hungry. And I think, though, throughout the season, when we came, when we were playing Southern and we came, we were up, we started to come back and we pulled that through. I really feel like our team knew that we had something special and we were going all the way. I don't know, I think Stafford Brown made it. I talked to him yesterday, he was going to try to get here. Uh, but if, if anybody watched that season, Stafford Brown stayed pretty clean. He had all kinds of time in that backfield. And that was because of our offensive line. Where are our line? You guys are the unsung heroes of this team. What, what was so special about this unit? What made you guys so special? It was just uh, team chemistry. Team chemistry. Uh, I actually started here for four years. I had four different offensive line coaches. And this particular coach in 06, uh, James Fady, he's now a uh, head coach at Alabama A&M. Yep. And uh, he was hard on us. He was really hard on us. He, he changed up our whole blocking schemes, all our name calls, and we kind of gave up on him. We actually went to the head coach and tried to vote the guy out. <laughs> but um, unfortunately, he wasn't in charge of payroll, so we didn't get out. But we just stuck with what we knew. We, we stayed together, and we, we made it happen two years in a row. Thank you. Andre Phillips. Andre. Coach George. As we saw on the video, that defense was, was pretty nasty. You guys were laying hits all over the field. Uh, what was it about that defense that gave you guys that type of a, aggression? Uh, I honestly can't say. I think we just can always compete amongst ourselves. Uh, you know, not in any betting form, at least, that we say we're out here now. But, uh, you know, Friday nights, we would kind of like challenge one another to see who could have the, the best game, whether, you know, tackles for a loss or individual tackles, interceptions, things of that nature. We would always kind of you know, try to compete and, 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 and encourage each other, you know, let's have a meeting at the quarterback. Um, and it started in practice. Uh, coach Broadway was a defensive-minded coach. Um, and so when he took over, you know, there was a shift in, um, you know, the overall just passion and overall fire at practice. And anyone knows anything about defense, we, we don't get a whole lot of credit either. So it really comes from within. It takes something within you to want to go in and just forcibly run your body into somebody else. You gotta be a different person to want to do that. 
So, you know, getting that passion to come out of you and then just to make it into something, you know, exciting. You know, wanting to compete and excel and be the leading tackler or the leading, um, you know, turnover guy for the day. It's something we all kind of strove, you know, to strive for. So I would say this, that would be the biggest thing. Thank you. How about Kenny Brawley? Where's Kenny Brawley? In case you don't make the connection to the last name, that he's the son of the head coach, Rod Broadway. So we'll give you the chance to wrap it up. Uh, talk about the chemistry. That we've heard a little bit about it, but try to sum up the chemistry that this team had. Uh, we had great chemistry. chemistry. Uh, it was built during the summertime of Bulls. <laughs> during the summer of Bulldog off-season workouts, they used to try to kill us. And everybody bonded together, them standing in Chitley Hall, New Reds, eating nasty cafeteria food. <laughs> we bonded in their practices. We would fight every other week. Meetings, Bible study, church, everything. We just did everything together. So, then he kept us close knit, and we just became a family. We still keep in touch today. Great. And he just pushed us. Great. Thanks so much. How about another round of applause? This has been an exclusive presentation of the NCCU Sports Network.